Hey guys, Matthew here, and this is going to be my final video on the whole Chaos Recipe tool. Uh, there is a couple different things that I forgot to mention in the last video, uh, and hopefully the information in this video is going to fix it for the people who are still having issues. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and just run the tool just to show to you guys that it actually works for me. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys something. So as you can see, the tool actually opens up for me. So if I go to my setup here, I'm going to use uh, this the account name and session ID of somebody for who the tool does not work, uh, which is going to be this guy. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take his profile name and throw it on in the PoE website. As you can see, his account name is this. Uh, so I'm going to head going to go ahead and copy this in my folder instead of path of math and then i asked him for his uh, poe session id as you can see it's right here so i'm going to go ahead and throw that up here and i'm going to save the file now the only thing that changed in the entire setup is the guy's profile name and session id as you can see it's going to say first off is going to give me an error saying there's a bad response from path of exile this means that the tool tried to communicate with path of exile website the api and it said that either the account or the poe session id was wrong now that and then obviously the failed to execute error because there's a problem with it um so oops not what i meant to open so if i go under the setup tab you'll see that the first message that it said was that the poe session id was wrong alongside the account name so why is that well that is very simple it's because this guy has a weird a in his name so if you want the tool to work you are going to need to have a uh a, an account name with all characters being asc2 which means regular alphabet uh so you are not going to want to have any characters with some weird dots on them or some dashes on them or some cool looking edgy characters or potentially like some Russian alphabet or any other alphabet, nothing like that. You are going to need your account name to look clean, such as mine. Uh, if that is not the case for your account, that is an easy fix. You're just simply going to need to send an email to GGG and probably within a few hours, GGG is going to respond you are going to be able to change your account name after answering a few questions. I personally used to have my account name as the greatest memer. And as you can see now, it's Path of Math. And I requested it. It took like two hours. They sent me an email back. They asked me a few questions regarding the account itself. Uh, if you're able to answer your questions, which you should, since it's you sh it should be your account, uh, you change the account name and the PoE tool is going to work fine. Uh, when it comes to numbers, those are okay. So regular numbers or regular letters in your name. So for example, if my Path of Exile account was Path of Math uh, 321, that would be fine. All right. So uh, for some people, though, you are going to be able to decode and actually uh, make use of that. Uh, to fix the problem. So if you go ahead and if I take this guy's account name and I go to URL encoder and I paste it here, his name, I can actually encode it under UTF-8, which is going to give me his name in computer form. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out with this instead. So I'm going to change that to the computer form language for his name. I'm going to go ahead and close that up and let's see if the tool runs this time around. And it will not. Uh, I've already tried this, unfortunately, it will not. But there's a difference though. As you can see, I did not get the initial message saying that there was a problem with the account name or the session ID, which means that the tool was able to communi uh, communicate with the POE website, with the API, uh, which means that for the tool, in the tool's uh, basically uh logic this account name here actually matched with the poe session id that's good but unfortunately i still get the failed to execute script which i don't get when using my own account and what's the difference in the setup right now the only difference is the account name because i know for a fact that his poe session id is right since ggg did not or sorry since the tool did not tell me that there was any issues there so the problem is just the account name, meaning if I go ahead and send one quick email to GGG, I change the account name to only ASC2 characters, 
the tool is going to work perfectly. And I think that's going to uh, fix it for a lot of you guys. Now, two more things I want to quickly mention in this video. Um, if you go into properties for your filter under, uh, under the Chaos Recipe, uh, you will see that the, the filter is called poeql underscore base. It is not called poeql underscore base dot filter. So uh, the dot filter is the type of file. It should not be in the name. So if your name, if your name of the file for you is poeql underscore base dot filter, Remove the dot filter and that literally might fix it for you as it did for somebody on my discord actually like 10 15 minutes ago We could not find out what the issue was and it, it turns out it just he just had an extra dot filter at the end of the uh, At the end of uh, of the name So that might fix it for you now another thing really quickly. I want to mention is the uh, the whole allowing the threat so if I go to Windows security settings and I go to virus and threat protection, uh, a lot of people will see no current threats and think, oh, so Windows is letting the tool uh, work. Well, not really. You are going to want the tool to be under allowed threats. As you can see, the Trojan Windows 32, uh, which is what Windows thinks the tool is anyways, is under allowed threats, and that is required. Uh, so... What you do is you go under protection history and then you will see a, a threat that says severe threat. When you see the severe threat, you click on it, then Windows is uh, Windows is going to ask you like, do you want to open this or whatever? And you will see this. At the very bottom, it should say something that says restore or allow or delete. You are going to want to restore or allow it. When you do that, it is going to become an allowed threat. And then from there on, you should be able uh, to get the tool working without Windows just deleting it for no reason. So that is another potential problem. The last thing I want to mention for the video uh, is going to be the layout of what the items look like. So I've had a lot of people tell me that the, uh, sorry, that the, layout of the items are too small or that the the items when they're on the ground they're too small they're hard to read stuff like that you can very very easily fix this uh basically how the tool works is that it takes your base filter and then depending on the query when it asks the api what's in your stash the auto updating uh the auto updating function is based on this chaos items filter here so if you want to change the look of the items on the ground while you're you know running your maps and stuff this is where you're going to do this under chaos uh, underscore items underscore filter uh dot filter and here you can go ahead and edit the colors the item levels so for example if you wanted to do chaos recipe in higher level maps uh you could you know change the item level you can change like i said the colors you can change even identified so corrupted items are going to show up stuff like that it is really up to you what you want to show and hide um really really just is up to you um so that's where you're gonna, you're gonna do that if you actually change the uh the layout of the items under in this file here it's not going to stick. It's actually going to reset itself every time because every time you press the refresh button on the tool, on the overlay, it edits, uh, it edits this file here based on this file here. Uh, so if you're not editing this file, but you're editing the end file, if you will, which then gets transferred over to your filter folder, um, then it's not going to work because it's going to, you know, reset itself every time. Oh yeah. And last thing, actually, I, I'm forgetting something real quick right now. Uh, if your, your chaos recipe or sorry, if your filter folder is not located under the regular base folder, uh, location, which for most people is going to be, uh, under this PC documents, my games path of exile and then this is where you are going to get your filters for the most part if for example for you uh your filter folder was located under your d drive or something like that just head over into the folder where you have all your filters so right in here where it says my games path of exile and then at the top here you're going to want to copy address as text 
And at the bottom here, you're going to paste this address and then add a backslash. Make sure it's a, bas a backslash, not a forward slash. And then you're going to type in poeql underscore base dot filter. Now, if you do this, it's basically telling the tool exactly where uh, it needs to uh, paste the filter. So the regular is going to be C drive, users, whatever, documents, my games. But if for you it's anything different, or if you have a special character as well uh, in your your computer name, so for example, if you have a dash in your computer name or something different, like not a regular character, you are going to need to do this as well because the tool can't find where to, to actually post the filter, so it's going to give you a fail to execute error. So that should be uh, that should be it. If you've done every single one of those things, if your account name has no problems with it, if your folder, uh, if your path to your folder is fine, uh, if your file is actually unlocked. Uh, so one thing that might happen, like I mentioned in other videos, so the beginning filter, uh, there is a possibility here that if you open the properties at the bottom is going to say that the file is locked. There's going to be a little checkbox and you're going to want to press unlock. Uh, so if that's the case, you're going to press unlock, apply OK. Uh, that is basically giving uh, the, possib the possibility for the tool to actually edit the filter because otherwise it can't, which just might give you. Uh, it will not give you a fail to execute, but what it will do is that the uh, a lot of people are saying that their filter or their tool is not updating the items that they are seeing or not seeing on the ground. Uh, that is based on that issue. So that's where that stems from. Uh, it might be that the tool is not able to actually edit the uh, the the filter. So as always, I want to say a huge thank you to my supporters: Mario, Lero, Guy, Kona, K Fish, Doctor Radu, Scott, Zarashi, Kevin, Casticus, Matus, Diesel Boy, and Dan S. Big thank you to you guys. Hopefully, uh, this video helps some of you guys out. Uh, if you're still having issues despite everything in this video and last video and you did everything step by step, uh, just join my community Discord, link in the description as always, and uh, there's going to be plenty of people trying to help you out if it's not myself. On that note, uh, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.